Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about Excel tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be talking about how we can import our test cases from an external Excel file to that of the X-Ray or Jira. Now that could be very interesting topic for most of us here because we would be interested to migrate from an ordinary conventional way of managing our test cases towards X-Ray at any point of time. Or sometimes there are some existing test cases which may have been managed in Excel, but at some point of time you would like to import them to your X-Ray to start working on it, right? So today we'll be understanding what's the best procedure to follow in order to import the test cases from an external Excel file to our X-Ray. Let's get started and understand what's the process of doing the same. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand how to import test cases in our extra instance. This will be covered in three different steps. First, we'll be preparing our test cases in Excel format, then importing them to the X-Ray instance and then confirming whether the import was successful or not. In order to begin here, the number one thing to understand is how to launch the test case import wizard. Now there are two different ways to do it, but of course there's only one option, but there are two different places from where you can launch the same process. Number one, you can navigate to the testing board and you would find an option here under the three lines of your test repository but just not test repository there are several options under that if you just click on this right the three lines here gives you different options to deal with the extra instance altogether and you'll find an option called as test case importer right at the bottom now this is the option which you launch from the testing board the same way if you click on the app section on the top and navigate to the x-ray app you would find a similar option right here at the bottom that is called as test case importer. Now if you click on any of these options, it will lead you to the same wizard. So there is no difference between these two options, but importantly, just giving you different ways to reach out to the one particular important option. But before we get started with this, let me just quickly give you an overview that what exactly we will be trying to import. And if you remember, we have been doing this for quite a while now so we are pretty much familiar so if I open a particular test we need to remember what details do we have here and what details we would like to import it's completely dependent on you that you would like to import the summary you would like to import the test cases the steps here for example the action the data the expected result if you have added any custom fields and if they are mandatory that's certainly required to be imported and other things are optional on the right hand side these are some Jira standard fields which you would also like to import then you can pretty much bring them in in your data as well now just to confirm before going on importing I'm taking you to the full issue view that is all issues and just trying to tell you that we have the last test as MFP 35 and login test for app right so we'll be rename uh, naming our test in a different manner so that you don't feel like oh these tests were already in and import did not happen so rust right rust right right now in fact the dates will try to tell the same thing that the last import has happened or we just created a test today that is august 29 and we'll be now importing on top of it some other new test right so these are all my tests as of now and all together we have 35 items in our instance and again this this is just to make sure that you have a good belief understanding that yes it happened right in front of us now that's it let's jump on to something where we are supposed to prepare the data I'm using an Excel sheet here to prepare my data where I'm giving some column names which are specific to the names of the fields in the Jira as well as x-ray now as we will be directly importing test steps in Jira some of the things can be excused for example issue type now if you're importing issues in Jira for example story or bugs or anything else then you have to explicitly define the issue types but as we'll be not using that option rather using a test case importer option within x-ray you can exclude the issue type and just to show you that we don't have to mention it that it is a test 
or it is a test set it will just continue importing a test itself because we are defining explicitly the option as test case importer also issue id is only to differentiate or tell the x-ray that hey there are four steps under the same test okay do not misunderstand it as an issue key in the jira which will be auto populated by jira itself so you don't define them here this is just to tell x-ray that hey the first four rows belongs to the same test so don't put them into different test right the next column is summary summary of course a new test has to be created so summary is required and i'm calling it out as test one sign up validation test two sign up validation again but i'm giving them a format like test one and test two and then if you also remember in our test we have a test type being defined because x-ray can import or work with three types of test manual generic and cucumber which is your bdd test i'll show you them when i import them right then we have priority we have the actions defined for signing up like enter name phone city and click on sign up button i'm providing some data i'm also defining the test the type of test which is mandatory field and the profile and following that i have the results window now completely further it is dependent on you that if you would like to import labels you want to import release versions or anything else like environment etc you can go on adding the columns also to tell you that the column names are not typically supposed to be exactly the same as that if you have done any typos in the labels here uh, not at all a problem because a jira while importing it will still ask you what do you want what do you mean by each column right so we are ready all you have to do is make sure that when you click on save as and you just go here you save it as csv okay i repeat save it as comma delimited format because that's what you need in order to perform the necessary import right so that's it we are pretty much ready with this let's go back here and let's make sure we have saved it and then we jump on to our x-ray instance now here i'll be using one of these options for example let's go to the testing board and click on the test case importer option okay i'll be using this option on the testing board called as test case importer and it will take me to the test case import wizard of x-ray and right here we'll just follow the stepwise process and continue importing them so let's click on import csv you have to browse the file where you have saved your file and again do not touch this because your csv is anyways utf8 and comma csv stands for comma separated values so your delimiter is comma in your file click on the next year and they're asking you which project would you like to import it i'm importing it in my first project and just click on next in case you're importing any kind of date and time then you can also define the format of date and time here to do that if you'd like to capture them in the repository or organize them then you can enable this and add the repository too but right now I'll just keep it simple and sound and click on next now this is the most important part of your import process where you have to map all the information in the excel to that of the x-ray that is jira fields now issue id and some example will be displayed to you that hey if in case you forgot what you wrote in your excel sheets this me this will remind you that what exactly your issue id is all about so i'll just map them exactly the same right so if you see here it says x-ray field right so it's not going to tap to your jira basic filter issue type again as we have not mentioned anything in the issue type we'll just keep it empty so we will not map this field if we just come back here if you see my issue type is empty so i'm not going to map it at all now summary is something which is important for any issue type so i'll just capture it then test type is manual again we have not included this in our um, fields at the issue level first of all because while you create a new test this field does not appear it only appears after creating a test so this would conflict with your import so do not map this field priority uh, okay so you may ask me a question that okay then why have you written it if there's no point of importing it of course because you can always ask your administrator jira administrator to publish this field on the issue creation page itself 
and that would be required at that time, right? So I'm just keeping it to make you sure that you know how to prepare your data and not getting stuck there. Now let's continue. I'll just search for action. Can you see these are X-ray test step fields and mandatory? So I'm importing same way for data, X-ray step field, and type of test is my type of test again, which I created, X-ray test step field. And then we have the profile. My field name is user profile. Now this is a wonderful example to tell you that your column name in Excel does not really matter how you have written it, but it should be relevant so that it's easy for you to link them, right? But here, if you see my extra field name is user profile, though my Excel sheet name or column name is profile, right? And that's it. We are good to go. Again here, the same example. Here we mentioned as result in our Excel and in the X-ray it is called as expected result. So if you are all clear here, we are done. Let's go ahead and begin the import and the import will happen, I think so. Oh, okay, we got stuck here. What did we miss? The test type is this. Data, 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 okay. I'm not sure what we went wrong with. All right, let's try once again. Okay, let's quickly check this. Test type not present, I understand. I think we just did a quick mistake in uh, doing the mapping. Let's try once again. So team, uh, this could be a good troubleshooting for us uh, because let's cruise check, 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 check. No, doesn't seem there's no issue here. Let's save it. Let's try it once again. And this time I'm just importing the file once again. Click on next. The project is my first project next. Issue ID goes to issue ID. Issue type is uh, empty, so there's no point mapping it. So let's not map this. Summary is summary. Test type is test type is not required again because we don't need them. And uh, priority is priority action is going to be action data is going to be data type of test is type of test and profile is user profile and this is expected result now what's wrong here we got the test type which we cannot publish while creating it and uh, the issue type is not necessary because we are importing test cases directly okay seems good everything is good let's begin import once again I was wrong with this let's try again says test x-ray test type not present but I'm not mapping this Let's type. Okay, let's try this one more time by mapping it. Okay, I think we should be good. Let's see. All right, I think we just did a small mistake there by importing them. So let's click on these two issues imported, or you can even go back to your uh, filter there, or you can just click on two issues imported to see them uh, right here. 
that what two tests got import. Right? If you see uh, exactly, we got test one sign of validation, test two sign of validation, and this is 3839 created right now. And uh, we have got the priority as high. If you remember, our Excel sheet also had the priority as high. Now let's open uh, one of them and see what exactly the test contains. If you click on the test here, you would find the steps relevant to that. And again, if it's up to you if you would like to import assignees, labels, components, etc. And if you see inside this, yes, we got four steps. Enter name as this, enter password as this. The test is valid, right? The phone number here, the city is here, and then we got the final step here for clicking on the sign up button, right? And similarly, if we go to the step two, that is test two, and this should be for the second test, and uh, here we got our results in the case. So this is what the test type is, right? Uh, which we were talking about, manual, generic, and cucumber. When you click on create button, right you don't see this field you see only summary component so one of your uh, administrator should publish this here at the creation so if you don't have a field at the creation you should not map it right so what we were going wrong with is we were not giving them the issue type itself the issue type is test so we should map this right and this one is second one testing in nutshell we got all six mumbai and click on the sign up button I hope that pretty much makes sense and helps you to import a lot of your test cases, whatever you would like to import, and that certainly gives you a great confidence of saving a lot of your time while importing the data. And this is a direct import of the test cases through X-Ray. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.